Now, the homeless crisis continues to make headlines all over the country. Even in the midst of the apparent economic recovery we're hearing about, many people are still in dire straits. One man who's been at the coalface for over 40 years is brother Kevin Crowley at the Capuchin Day Centre in Dublin. This is where the homeless man's body was discovered at half eight this morning after a bitterly cold night. It's on Moldsworth Street in the shadow of Leinster House. This morning, the Dublin Simon community found 168 people sleeping in the streets of our capital city, in doorways, shops. Almost 800 families and more than 1,600 children were living in emergency accommodation at the end of last year. In 1969, brother Kevin Crowley founded the Capuchin Day Centre to care for the homeless people of Dublin's inner city. It was very, very basics in the early days. All we did was cook uh, a pot of soup in the friary kitchen and carry it down the steps and we did a, a tiny little room at the back of the friary. Some of the staff are here from half five in the morning preparing the food. We open at seven o'clock and to about half eleven. And from that time you have about 250 to 300 people coming in. Then in the afternoon we have five to 600 people coming in for food. They get a four course meal. There's enough of people homeless, but there is also people down on their luck, like not no jobs and just can't manage on what they're getting. Brother Kevin makes such an effort to help the less well off in our society. He's a fabulous man and he surrounds himself by a wonderful team of staff and volunteers. There were occasions when we had uh, parents ringing us up in the morning time to know could we give food to other children who were going out to school without, um, without food. And these are the people that we are helping. We never had children coming here years ago. And it's breaking his heart to see the current situation, particularly for the, uh, the mothers with the families. These little children have to leave our place in the afternoon and go to a hotel. And the only food they get is what we give them leaving from the centre. I come in here because it's safe for my baby. Just nurses, doctors who I am, get sick. Um, and they also help me if I need stuff going home, like milk and that. So I feel safe in here. I don't believe in paying for fundraising because I believe when people donate to the Capuchin Day Centre, all that money should go towards the people in need and for the food that they're donating the money for. This is the packing room here and every Wednesday, approximately 14 to 1800 bags are assembled and given out. Well, it's mostly uh, dry food, all the tea, sugar, butter, milk, um, tins of beans. It's a vital part of the service that's given by the captions here. Other people see the need and they are sympathetic and they have empathy and all of that, but very few people actually do it. Like Kevin, we've had nothing here and Kevin's made something out of it. Well, it helps you, it's somewhere to go, somewhere to sit down and have a cup of tea, have a chat. You show compassion and kindness and, you know, if you need anything, if you're short of a woolly hat going out the door, he looks after everybody. He's very serene, and if there's ever an outburst, the minute he appears and puts his hand on their shoulder, there's a calmness. But I've never met anyone like him. Like, his dream would be to come over from that friary and there'd be nobody here, not because he doesn't want to see the people, but because the people wouldn't need the service. Personally, I would like to say to Kevin, thank you. And I'm so humble and I'm so appreciative that, that you're here for me and you've, you made me a happy man. To present the award, please welcome All-Ireland and All-Star winner, Dublin defender, Philly McMahon. What Brother Kevin has created in the Capuchin Day Centre is, bre is a breathing space. A space where those who are in, the, in desperate situation can come and have some of their worries lifted off their shoulders for a brief time. It restores people's faith in humanity by simply recognising the humanity in those who use its, its numerous services. For this, Brother Kevin is a worthy winner of the People of the Year Award.
I think knowing now what, how much you've done over the last 40 years, this award is long overdue, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> if I could ask you, because there are misconceptions, if there's one single misconception about the homeless community that you could dispel here tonight, what would it be? Well, I suppose my real concern, really, is for the number of people who are sleeping on the streets. We've so many people who have died, and certainly unknown. I remember when we had a death outside the doll, there were several people shouting and screaming about it, but very little was done. And then again, my main concern is about the number of little children who go to, a host to hotels in the evening time. My concern is for those that, and I would appeal to the government to please find homes for these people. Give them a home, give them dignity, and give them respect. <laughs> Billy, you and your teammates have helped out down at the Capuchin Day Centre. What struck you the most about the work that's carried out there? Well, the biggest thing is that Kevin and, and the others that volunteer, um, they don't judge anybody, you know. So no matter what adversity they've had, um, they come in and they help them and, and they don't judge them. But, you know, to see the amount of um, even the, the nappies going into the, into the bags, you're, just, you're looking and seeing that and you're saying that there's so many children uh, you know on the streets uh, of Dublin and Ireland uh, today so it, it's kind of tough and, and, and it's great for us we've adopted uh, brother Kevin as a, as, a, as a dub now I know he's a cork man but um, we've adopted That's him as a dub so yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I'm still I'm very much a cork man <laughs> 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 but, uh, but when the dubs are playing, uh, provide a cork in that playing, I shout for the dubs. I'm glad we clarified that. Thank you very much, Philly. Ladies and gentlemen, the People of the Year Award winner, brother Kevin Crowley. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.